Good morning, great twelves. Welcome back. Today we're going to go on with functions. Goeie morgen, great twelves. Vandaag gaan ons aan met functies en ons gaan kyk na die reflexies van functies. We're going to look at the reflections of functions. Before we do that, let's quickly have some learning work that you must know by heart to be able to do this easy. Kom ons kyk na die leerwerk wat jy nodig het om dit makkelijk te doen. As ons een refleksie het in die x-as, dan verander die y-waardes na minus y. If we've got a reflection in the x-axis, the y values becomes minus y. If we've got the reflection in the y-axis, the x values becomes minus x values. And, and then the last one, a reflexie in the y is gelijk aan x as. Dit is the inverse functies wat ons gedoen het, die vorige klasse. Dan verander die x waardes na die y waardes en andersom. So let's have a look at these two functions quickly. This is fx, a straight line function. En ons sien dit is een afnemende functie, want sy gradient is negatief. Snij die y as hier by plus 8, that's basic knowledge from previous grades already. And then we see this, that this function f is being reflected in the y axis. Hierdie funksie f is, is, is gereflecteer in die y-as. So wat gebeur? My x-waardes word negatief. So let's get the equation of h. Kom ons kry die vergelijking van hx. Wat gebeur? Ons maak dood eenvoudig, net soos wat ons sê, die x-waardes negatief. So substitute the x with a negative x plus 8 and then you simply simplify. So my new function, my reflexie binnen in my y as, so naam is 2x plus 8. And that makes totally sense because it, it cuts the y axis exactly at the same place as my original function. And now as I gradient, positief 2, because this is an, an increasing line. Very easy. Kom ons kyk na hierdie parabool. Sy naam is gx, is gelijk aan 3x kwadraat. So ons kyk, kyk nou na hierdie parabool, wat het met hom gebeur? Kan jylle dit sien? From g to s, this function reflected in the x x. So wat gaan gebeur? As ons reflecteer in die x-as, word die y-waardes negatief y -waardes. So kom ons gaan skryf hierdie funksie oor, it's y equals 3x squared, and now our y values becomes negative y values, so let's do that, substitute y with negative y, and now we need a function sx, this is sx, <coughs> In terms of y, so then you simply divide with minus 1 on both sides. In dit maak heel te mal sin, want kyk nou, hierdie oukie is nou a sad face, so the a value of this parabola is now negative. Very easy. Let's quickly exercise another example before we're going to do some exercises on the group. This is fx equals a to the power of x. And this guy, we're going to name uh, gx. Okay. So the graph fx goes through the point P. Okay, there's a point P over there. En die coördinaten van P is minus 2 
25. That's the coordinates of P. G is the reflection. You can clearly see that. The reflection in the y-axis. Can you see? G x wordt gereflecteerd. Of f x wordt gereflecteerd in the i as to form G x. Um, in the y-axis. And the y-axis equation is x equals 0. That's the y-axis, that's the x-axis. Okay, let's read the questions. Determine the value of a. a, that's the equation of fx, so let's do that. fx equals a to the power of x, so let's substitute point p. So the a waarde is 25 and the x waarde is minus 2. Now we can the a waarde gaan bepaal and um, kom ons gaan kry eers the a waarde, die, or the exponent van the a waarde positief. So let's take that underneath the division line. Okay, now we can do a bit of cross multiplication. Om ons doen kruisie van mijn afvuldiging. So ek het 25 maal a kwadraat is gelijk aan 1 maal 1. So a square equals 1 on 25. And a is therefore plus minus the root of 1 on 25. And that gives me plus minus 1 on 5. But... There's a rule that tells us the base of an exponential function, the base of an exponential function can't be negative. Therefore, our a value equals 1 on 5. There's a rule that says that an exponential function can die a waarde nie negative wees nie, so die naam van ons functie fx is gelijk aan a vijfde door die mag x. Wat baie belangrijk is, graag 12, you may not write a fifth without the brackets. Jy mag nie die haakjes uitlos nie, want dan behoort die x net aan die 1. Very important. It must, must, must be in brackets. Remember that. Okay, now we've got the value of a, and let's get the value of gx, they tell, tells us that gx equals b to the power of x. b to the power of x. So now we've got to determine the value of b and eventually the, the, the name of gx. So ons kan nou duidelik sien dat gx, hulle sê ook, is die refleksie in die i as, die x is gelijk aan 0 as, so what do we do if we reflect in the y-axis? Then the y becomes negative. So kom ons gaan kry die vergelijking van gx of die waarde. By firstly, we can just um, change our x value to a minus x value. So if we get gx, we're going to change the x value, look at this, to a minus x value. And now, if you know your exponent laws, you will know that if I swap the denominator and the numerator, this guy becomes positive. So the die naam van gx is dan gelijk aan 5 door mag x. Baie, baie eenvoudig. Makkelijk. By just knowing my rules. Okay, let's see the next question. The next question will then be, um, get the coordinates of the reflection of point P. P accent. Kom ons kyk, wat gaan die coordinate van P accent wees? Baie makkelijk, wat het gebeur? Baie makkelijk, jy kan het duidelijk sien op jou skets ook. My x waarde het negatief gewoord, according to the rule that's true as well. The y value stayed the same, so it's 25. But what happened to the x value? It became 2. Baie makkelijk. En dan die heel laaste vraagie, gaan oor die refleksie van f, 
en die y is gelijk aan x as. The y equals xx, that's this guy. This guy, sorry, but skew. The y equals xx. Ons wil nou vir f reflecteer, en ons ken hom baie goed, wat gebeur as ons f, f, fx reflecteer en die y is gelijk aan x as? Sy x en sy y waardes rou om. Dit beteken ook, we know that this y intercept is going to be the x intercept. So as ons gaan kyk na fx en ons maak vir x 0, dan weet ons hierdie waarde is 1. So hy gaan daar dier gaan, waar x nou gelijk is aan 1. And then we also know that P is going to switch. The X value is going to be 25 and the Y value is going to be minus 2. So it's going to look like this. That's going to be 25 minus 2. And now if we draw it, the X x was the asymptote, now the y-x is going to be the asymptote. So it's going to look like this. Okay, but they, they didn't ask us to draw it, they asked us to de de determine the equation of h. So kom ons gaan na f toe, f, hoe kry ons van hx, die refleksie in die y is gelijk aan x as, Ons gaan en ons gaan ruil die x en die y waarde om. So this is now going to happen. We're going to switch the x and the y value. That's y equals a fifth to the power of x. Now it's going to be x equals a fifth to the power of y. And we know we must write it in terms of locks. So hx is going to be the log of a fifth in brackets to an x as the base. That's now the inverse function of fx. So the last question, the coordinates of p double accent. So p double accent, we've done it over there is where the x and the y value swaps. That's P, the x and the y value, value swaps. So I've answered that already. That's my new coordinate P double accent. Dit is dan reflexies in ons 1, 2, 3 asse. Grade 12, it's very easy if you know your basic learning book. Kom ons gaan oefen dit, sien jylle moeilijk.